Hi, my name is Mrs. Pariso, and I teach Math 8 Advanced and Algebra 1 Honors here at Webridge Middle School. This will be my eighth year here at Webridge. So come on in and let's take a sneak peek at my classroom and I'll share a little bit more about me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or you just want to say hi, please feel free to email me at pariso at fultonschools.org. Prior to coming to Webridge Middle School and even Georgia, I was teaching overseas in Egypt. I taught there, I taught middle school and high school math for three years, and I brought back the best souvenir ever, my husband, Peter. We moved to Georgia in 2013, where we started our family. Both my girls were born here in Georgia. My oldest is Julia, and my youngest is Natalie. So here's some information about what we will need for class this year. Always need a device. I like to use electronics um, pretty regularly um, and introduce the kids to new programs. Pencils, 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 and a notebook, preferably with graph paper, a one inch binder. And having colored pencils and highlighters and pens are always a plus for when we're taking notes. Our classroom can always use Kleenex, Expel markers, because we use those a lot in here, um, and colored copy paper, because I do love to color code my units, my the handouts for each unit, makes it easier for students to refer back to their notes and to find it in their binders. So when talking about graph notebooks, I get a lot of questions like, what kind should I get? and whatnot, in all sincerity, it really doesn't matter. I really don't have a major preference. I know that I'm not gonna get 100% um, across the board. So it's really whatever suits your child best. My favorite, however, is the graph composition notebook. The reason for that is I found that the graph lines in this particular notebook, they're very light. So when you write on them, your pencil lines still show up. Um, it's not hard to read once uh, you write on that. Um, and I also like that the papers don't tear out easily, so prevents like accidental ripping out and losing papers. So those are a few reasons that that particular one is my favorite. The spiral bound notebooks are also great too, um, especially if your child likes to rip out pages for notes or whatnot. Um, however, I will have loose leaf paper available for scrap work, and we do a lot of our scrap work on dry erase boards um, and, and such. So just something else to consider. Now, sometimes it's hard to find the graph paper notebooks, and that's fine. So just get what you can. Um, a, a, lined, a spiral bound lined notebook paper is totally fine. Um, as long as it's got lines on it, I'm going to be happy. I just want some place for your child to keep their notes and warm-ups and things of that nature and just being prepared. So the other reason um, for the graph paper, it's just also an, a nice way of being able to really line up our work. We do a lot of graphing in Math 8 and Algebra 1. So being able to sketch that out onto a note page really quickly with nice even lines is very helpful uh, in when taking notes. The other thing that would be beneficial to have in the class is a binder and this would be where your child will put their handouts. So I will always have notes printed and ready to go. There's also going to be a OneNote version so your child, if, if they lose it, can always print out a new one. Um, but this is a great place to just kind of store all those handouts and keep them nice, neat, and organized by their unit. The other thing we will have in class is what I'm calling our portfolio. And this portfolio is going to be where your child keeps their quiz and tests if they are not digital ones. So I will be providing the portfolios, the folders for your child. So um, no need to go out and purchase that. Just that way I can keep them all uniform and um, make sure everyone has the right kind just for consistency across the board. Now, these will stay in class. The reason for that is because if you send me an email or a phone call or you want to have a conference, 
I can quickly pull your child's data, review it, and be able to really look closely at their work um, and give you useful feedback in regards to that. So those will stay here in class and I will provide those. All right, so where is my classroom, right? It's been a while since we've been in school or maybe you are brand new here. So let's go ahead and take a look about how do you find my classroom? So when you come into the main doors right here, you're going to go left down the 100 hallway. At the end of the 100 hallway is our academic rotunda. So you're gonna to wanna to make your way there. At the academic rotunda, there's the 600, 700, 800, and 900 hall, as well as the media center. And it's in that order going from counterclockwise. Okay, so what you're going to do is you want to go to the 800 hallway. Now, there will be barriers put up, so it's not a straight shot. You do have to walk around to your right to the 800 hall. Once you get down the 800 hall, you're going to make your way to the rotunda at the end of that hall. All right, and now you're gonna go left. You're almost there, I promise you. When you turn left, you'll see Miss Weaver's and Mr. Irvin's classroom, and you're gonna head right out those doors. And this is where the learning cottages are, AKA the portables. Out here we have Mr. Amrine's class, Mrs. Wood's class, my class, and Ms. Mince's class. So if you have any of those teachers on your schedule, this is where you can find them. All right, once you come out the door, I am right over here, and we can come on into the classroom. All right, so right now I'm very excited that we're going to be able to group up and work together. I truly believe that um, collaboration is the best when we are problem solving. We're in this together and to help one another out. So we're in groups of up to four people. We're gonna have a student-centered area and over here is where we're gonna keep our portfolios. If you're absent, there'll be a bin where you can come and check for uh, any handouts with your name will be written on it. And then there's a bookcase with all sorts of student supplies, like a sharpener, pencils, et cetera, dry erase boards, markers, and so forth. And then off to the side is where our calculators will go. This is my command center. I'm hoping that I won't be as tied to my desk and in front of the computer this year, but um, this is my location back here. And here's just another perspective from the classroom. All right, y'all, so that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek and I look forward to seeing you guys on Monday for the first day of school. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Have a great day.